Good morning, world. It's a pretty cool 7.30 a.m. Usually it gets pretty hot throughout the day, and I'm doing some yard work, as you could probably tell by the title. No, this is not my house's lawn, but this used to be my house, and I've mowed this lawn many, many times with the lawn boy, as they used to call me. This is the house I grew up in. It's very nice. If you guys remember the Talos of Attic days, Talos of Attic is right over there somewhere. And my parents were out of town just for a couple days, so I thought I would mow the lawn for them mostly because they asked me, but also because I accepted. I could have rejected, but it's actually kind of emotional mowing this lawn again because I haven't mowed this lawn since I moved out of my parents' house. And back then, you know, we had the old wire ear pods that would always get caught on these levers when I had the wire going from my ears down to my pocket. And once AirPods came out, I was like, finally, they solve all my problems. Except by the time they came out, I wasn't mowing this lawn anymore. And I was moving out and living on my own. But it's kind of nostalgic to be mowing this lawn again with the same mower. Kind of brings you back to the, the good old days in a way. And it's made me think a lot about my career. Because back in the days when I used to mow this lawn, YouTube was not my full-time job. But for those of you who don't know how I used to make money and save up for tech and cameras and phones to review for the channel, was I would mow lawns around town. I never got paid for mowing this lawn. This is just part of, you know, living here, but I would go around town, go to neighbors or go to places that needed mowing and I would mow and that's how I would generate an income back then. And now I very rarely ever do that. The house we're at now is a very small yard so I can trim everything with a weed whacker. But yeah, it's just kind of interesting to go back to the roots and walk in the same places you used to walk and mow the lawns you used to mow. It just makes you feel different about life and where you are now. And I've filmed a lot of movies here for those old school Taylosa fans. There's been a lot of stuff shot in here over the years, including the backyard as well. There's a lot of history here for not just Taylosev, but my life in, in general. So I was happy to mow it again and kind of relive those old memories and now it's gonna feel even weirder going back to work today and it's a privilege I get to call it work because I'm just now being reminded of how much I wanted YouTube to be a full-time job back when I was mowing lawns all the time and that was my that yard work was like my career and that's everything I had to do in order to make money and now hardly ever happens so kind of just retrospective I guess and hopefully uh, my parents like the way the lawn looks so yeah that's what I'm up to today and I hope you all are having an excellent day as well this tree has some kind of fruit on it. Let's hope it's not poisonous. If we grab one of these, maybe. Look like maybe cherries or little plums. Mmm, that looks kind of good. Making sure it's clean here. And, uh, mmm. It's a little sour, but I kind of like a little sour. I used to eat these in the old days when I would mow this back lawn, ever since I was a kid. I think I started mowing lawns when I was like 10 or nine. I could be wrong. I feel like I've always been mowing lawns, but whenever I would make a pass down here, I would grab one of these plums or cherry. That, or let's just call them plaries because I can't tell what they are. They kind of taste like plums. They kind of taste like cherries. But anytime I mowed this part of the lawn and I passed by this, I would grab one and eat it. And by the time I did another lap, I was usually done with it and I could <laughs> spit out the seed like that and grab another one. So the flavor of nostalgia if you will. Yeah, that wasn't bad. You know what? I'm gonna have another one. No one has to know about this, except I'm vlogging it, so lots of people will know about this. Sorry. I guess this should have gone on Taylor's of food. These are tasty, though. And now, tomorrow, I'm just gonna die because these are actually poisonous. But at least I recorded myself dying, or the, the cause root of death. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap it up, make sure we cut everything, and get back inside before it gets hot, because it's supposed to get, like, 100 today. And I don't want to be outside for that. Where I used to build model airplanes, I think. Yeah, we still got the Ericsson sign up there. A lot of memories in there as well. Lots of Saturday shorts we used to film in there. Over there is where my neighbor used to have a pig that they wanted me to feed on occasion. So I used to vlog over there, I think. I believe I vlogged when I took care of the pig. So if you recall that vlog, that was right over there. We gotta take a look at the attic, obviously. I know I've probably done this a million times by now, but every time I visit the old house, I like looking at where Telos have all started in the first place. It's always fun. Okay, so once again, this is where it technically first started. The first Talos video on the channel, which is privatized for now. That may change down the road, but for now, that's gonna stay private. But I used to live in this side of the bedroom, and then this side was like the media entertainment side of the room. I had very little privacy. That's right, well, growing up, I had no door on my room, so I couldn't shut people out if I wanted to. 
but I think that brought the family closer together anyway. My desk was right here, my bed was right there, and yeah, I think I unboxed my first iPhone right here. It was like an iPhone 5, and I believe I still have footage of that somewhere. I'll have to go dig it out someday. And then when my oldest sister moved out, which she used to live in the attic, I wanted some privacy and I wanted a door, so that's when I moved into the attic. The origin of Talos of this filing cabinet, which used to be in the background of my tech videos, that's still there. Obviously the walls aren't green anymore, but this is what's left of it. Yeah, I think I would have put my camera right here and I would have stood about right here. Welcome back to Taylor's Tech, everybody. Today we're talking iPhone 7 rumors. Yeah, that all happened right there. A lot of memories in this place. A lot of movies, a lot of shorts we shot in these walls. But I understand I may have vlogged this in the past, but the reason I try to document it is you never know when it's gonna be the last time you visit your childhood home, living here for 16, 17, 18 years. You never know when it could be the last time. So every time you do make the trip out, always try to remember it and kind of savor the moment because it could be the last time. You just don't know. Now, I know on Talos of Tech, and even on this channel, we buy and unbox and review products that are $100, $1,000, sometimes $5,000, talking about how big of an impact it makes on our lives. But what's also funny to me is how cheap products can also make huge impacts too. So a while back, we got a Target gift card for our wedding and we never used it because we very rarely go to Target, but eventually, you know, yesterday we were just like, you know, we should, we should use that. We should use that gift card. So we went to Target and we looked around and we were like, hmm, we don't need any of this stuff because we are content and we are grateful for the things that we have, except our vehicles that aren't Teslas. But aside from that, we were very happy and satisfied with everything we had. But one thing we did find at Target that we decided to get, which luckily the gift card covered it, is this very, very simple product that makes all the difference in my daily working life. It's a desk clip on fan. So this has like a giant, oh my God, it's kind of heavy. Giant clip that attaches to your desk or chair or whatever, and it plugs into the wall so there's no batteries or anything and it's just a tiny very very quiet fan that you attach to your desk like that you can adjust it however you want it up or down turn on the little switch on the back and it keeps my face cool while i'm editing videos and even live streaming i did a live stream with this fan running the whole time and it keeps me super super cool there is a ceiling fan in here but it's not exactly pointing at me which means typically you know it gets the air circulating a little bit but it doesn't really cool me down whereas this fan pointing right at me all the time is literally keeping me from sweating, which in this room with the iMac Pro's fans and my body heat, I guess I'm a hot person, <laughs> you could say. It gets hot in here very easily, which means I just sit at my desk and sweat, but this tiny little $12 fan or whatever, not a sponsor, not an ad read in any way, they're not paying me at all. They should though. I can confidently tell you, Holmes, whatever this company is, there is no creator my size that is promoting you on any platform. So the fact that I'm doing it right now means I deserve at least, you know, a hundred dollars or something. I don't know. Either way though, I love this fan. It's very quiet. It keeps me cool and it's made an extremely noticeable difference on my day-to-day -day work life. So I'm very happy that we got the gift card and we put it to good use on this very basic product that makes all the difference. You guys have anything like that? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm alone in this way, but anywho, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.